it's time for Ghost and Friend Dog. Ghost and Friend Dog in the morning. In the morning. Live, 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 live. Before our recording studio morning. Recording. Wake your ass up, it's the next friend in the morning. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's Monday, fun day. We are here to entertain you with a podcast of Cox and Crendu. Cox and Crendu. <laughs> Crack, Cox and Crendu. Yep. It's the upcoming musical to Broadway. Yeah. Look, it would have been Cox and Crendor, but door doesn't rhyme with anything except for poor, whore, and bore. And none of those things are in our musical. <laughs> yeah. Our musical is <laughs> wonderful. There are no doors, damn it. <laughs> no doors. No doors. Especially not bands named doors. No, that is not allowed in our musical. Not allowed. Not allowed. Hello, everybody. It's we're, a Monday show. We're back. It's Monday. We're, we gotta get hyped up, bro. We gotta get all excited. Gotta get going. Gotta get the rust off because just like this person that tweeted at me uh, about the flu, that my immune system is like, hey, deadly flu coming. Good. My immune system's rusty. It's got a picture <laughs> of like an old timey boxer. Like, bring it on, yeah. flu. I shall vanquish <laughs> you post haste. That's the equivalent of this Monday. It's like we gotta get that rust off. We're like, yeah. bring it on. That's fun. That's fun because I'm ready for it. Last week. Yeah. We had a resurgence of Florida stories, and I thought, you know mm. what, I'm willing, I'm willing to, to give Florida a pass. I was like, you know what, it's a new week. We can move on Florida. Maybe nothing crazy will happen. And then this happened. Okay. West Palm Beach man gives mm. illegal butt injections. <laughs> <laughs> illegal butt injections. Illegal butt injections. <laughs> Miami Dade and Broward have their share of people accused of performing illegal button enhancements, but now it's Palm Beach's turn. All right, is this a problem? In Florida, <laughs> apparently, there's illegal butt injection problems. People are having their butts enhanced illegally. Yeah, in LA, they do that right. Yeah, they pay for it. They get no, no. I'm sorry. They get their rich boyfriends and or husbands to pay for it. That's <laughs> Got my a, boyfriend. That's how LA that. works. Speaking of which, I have another article that's exactly about that. But anyway, so. <laughs> A 44-year-old West Palm Beach man is facing charges of unlicensed practice of healthcare, causing serious bodily harm after he injected silicone into at least two patients' butts at a motel room. According to the report, Calvin Edward Butler, also known as Tamika Butler. Whoa! Whoa! Is this guy cross-dressing? Wait, what was his first name? Calvin, Calvin Edward Butler, also known as Tamika Butler. Tamika? Tamika. Hello, sir. This is Tamika. How you doing? <laughs> it's like it's the guy calling uh, Teo. Teo. It is. It's that guy. <laughs> How you doing, sir? It's me, Tamika Butler. <laughs> the first alleged victim, a woman, told detectives in December that she received butt injections from Butler at a motel between September and October. The victim said she would disrobe from the waist down, and Butler would use a felt tip pen to mark the areas on her butt <laughs> <laughs> that needed fullness, according to the report. With the victim lying down, Butler would pour out a clear liquid from a Pedialyte bottle. From a Pedialyte bottle? <laughs> telling the woman that it was sterile silicone. Then he would pour it into a plastic cup. He filled syringes from the cup. Then he would inject it into the woman's butt. Once the injections were complete, Butler would clean the body of any fluid and use crazy glue on the incisions. <laughs> The woman was charged two hundred dollars per injection session. Listen, if you, can't, if you can't figure out that this guy is not a licensed official by the Pedialyte bottle. Then... <laughs> he did crazy glue you. After a just while, like, let me get my glue gun over here. I'm really starting to wonder if this That's is some... all just innuendo. Because if you think about it. <laughs> Butler told the first woman he, that, that received the injections that he was a nurse at the Florida Medical Center in Fort Lauderdale. After the woman's last injection procedure, she began to feel painful nodules in the injection sites, and she contacted Butler. Butler told her to take warm baths and massage the nodules, and any symptoms would subside. But the woman soon began to suffer severe open and oozing wounds, fevers, and swollen lymph nodes until she had to go to the hospital. She had lymphid lymphoditis... 
a swelling of the lymph nodes due to bacterial infection. Mm -hmm. She still wasn't fully recovered, suffers from chronic pain, and now is disfigured. I wouldn't trust any medical Hold people on. in Florida. Hold on. She was what? also breastfeeding when the infection occurred with her new baby daughter, but that child hasn't suffered any health complications, the report said. So this woman is getting butt injections from a guy who has no medical qualifications while she has a child? Oh, she's a... I, I'm almost willing not to blame the guy. So far, it seems like it's all her fault. She did go to this, like... You, I think she has to assume that he's not a professional. Like, it probably just costs a lot less. I think that's what it probably is. <laughs> oh, no! How does the story get better? The second victim, a man. So now there's a man going to get <laughs> butt injections. <laughs> went, went to Butler between June and October of 2012. He was there much longer than this lady. The injections were administered in the same manner as the woman, though Butler was only charged 100 bucks. You know, it's, oh. it's a little, there's a little more stuff down there that Butler doesn't want to deal with. Butler yeah. told the man that he had several strippers as patients who were charged $400 per visit, so he was getting a deal. It, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. When the man began developing open sores at the injection site, he contacted Butler, and Butler told him to toughen up and gave him oral antibiotics. <laughs> My butt is oozing. <laughs> yeah, toughen up. <laughs> we all got a little butt ooze now and again. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> It's like, hey, I think I have pneumonia. Well, toughen Suck it up. Walk it up, walk it off, bitch. The sores increased in size, and the man was admitted to the Palm Beach Medical Center. Doctors performed surgery on the man's buttocks and found there were MRSA cultures. I don't even know what that is, and it sounds horrible. <laughs> it does. As the man was recovering in the hospital, Butler paid him an unannounced visit in December, arrived dressed as a woman in a wig and a fur coat with several pieces <laughs> of jewelry. <laughs> what? What? When Why? the man asked Butler what he was doing there, Butler responded, "You need to remember who the B oh who the H B I C head bitch in charge is." And Butler also said he was very angry at the man because he sought medical attention. He threatened the man and then left the room. Holy! This guy okay. is amazing. This Butler guy okay, is amazing. On. Wait, who's the one dressed up Butler! as a woman? But Tamika, the guy giving yes, the injections. Calvin, oh, I gotta find his name again. Calvin Edward so Butler, like aka Tamika, Tamika Butler. Yes. <laughs> sir, sir, I'm gonna need you to not talk to the police, sir. <laughs> I gave you the butt injections because I knew they was good for you. You just didn't know how to handle it. This is amazing. I mean, authorities believe they're. What does a butt injection do? I, I, I don't know. You figure in order to have, like, a big old firm booty, you have to, like, have implants. Not just have crap shot in your butt. Butt injection. <laughs> don't look that up. Don't <laughs> Google that. That's only going to end badly. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. It looks like she put a pillow in her behind. It's amazing. Authorities say there may have been more victims. And if you have been a victim of Butler, please call Crime Stoppers. Then it gives the phone number. Oh my god, oh. that's amazing. The best part is... <laughs> Misty Summers, a young lady who lives in Florida, says, and I quote, How is this a crime? She has, she has a good point. What? I mean, Misty Summers sounds like someone who takes a lot of butt injections. <laughs> <laughs> Did it. Bang. Uh, but, speaking of, of our earlier conversation that you brought up, mm -hmm. according to the Tampa Bay Times... New trend, get a sugar daddy to help you get through college. Imagine you're a college student, mm -hmm. struggling to pay steep tuition and living expenses. Mid-bite of boxed macaroni and cheese, you stumble upon the option <laughs> to join a free, mutually beneficial online service that promises to pair you with a wealthy man or woman who will chip in for school costs. Would you do it? Apparently, an increasing number of Florida college students are taking people up on the offer. Four Florida universities, including South Florida, made the top 20 list of fastest growing sugar baby memberships for seeking- I'm not gonna list the website. The site manages sugar babies. <laughs> Miami is an expensive place to live, said 20 year old hospitality student in Florida- Okay, first off, hospitality student who says she needed money to pay for her tuition and car repairs. Tiffany, who asked that I keep her name private, <laughs> says that a benefactor coughs up $1,000 a month for what she calls dinner dates at his apartment. He has a couple of apartments. We'll have dinner, wine, it leads to the bedroom, I collect my money, then I leave. 
Wow. <laughs> Students like Tiffany are behind the uh, arrangement's growing popularity in Florida. This, like, gets even worse. Tiffany says she joined this online website to help uh, with school costs, but now she uses the income to buy handbags and Chanel sunglasses and more. She says since joining in the past year, she's met three sugar daddies in which she dates all three. She says her current sugar daddy is 48, and they've been together for the past two months, although she still sees the others. Despite her own ar arrangement, she insists a sexual relationship isn't required. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Do tell. Uh, Tiffany earns an allowance of $1,000 a month. <laughs> this is crazy. And then according to someone at this website where you can go on to find a sugar daddy, they have a spokesperson, Jennifer Gwynn, and she says, I can see this being a, a good thing for a lot of families who can't contribute to their child's education. If your daughter needs money, this is an easy way of getting it. Basically, make your daughter a whore is what they're saying. <laughs> How is this a what? thing? When a young woman is desperate it's... and in need of money, a wealthy man comes along and uses vulnerability to get sex. That's exactly right. Th this Brandon Way, this MIT student, wrote a, a, a story about this website. I, have, I agree with this guy. That really is what it is. It's not like he's donating. Yeah, there's no the... man out there who's like, oh, sure, girl, I don't ever know. I Hey, I feel like we should... I'm not going to name this website, okay? But right now, we're, we're going to go look at it. And when you get there... Just look and see, are there any unattractive women on there? Um, so far, no. I don't see any. So far, no. In fact, many of them are in the most erotic of poses. Or, if they're not in erotic poses, they are, it's that, like, angle down above them boob shot photo that you see on Facebook all the time. Oh, oh, that one is slightly just above average. She's a 7. She's not a 10. Yes, okay, again, yeah. again. I don't know how anyone can defend this thing because it's basically a way for attractive women to have stuff paid for them and then old men to be like, I'm going to bang an attractive girl. Like, this is this. Right, now we got to browse the sugar oh, daddies. Oh, the sugar daddies are, are, I guarantee all of them are disgusting human beings. Like, they're, <laughs> they're preying on young women. This guy, <laughs> the girlfriend slash personal assistant. <laughs> can I go on there and ask for a Pepper Potts? I've always wanted one. Like, you need oh, to be red cool. hair, you need to wake me up at 5 a.m. every day. They apparently work They apparently <laughs> work and bang on the cheap, so. She makes, like, what a person working at a grocery store part-time makes. And, like, just go get a job. You're absolutely right. She is making nothing, and she's selling her body to do it. No, prostitutes make more money than that. This is nonsense. Unless you're really, like, going on dates. Gwen, the spokesperson, says, We are very, very strict about escorts. If language on someone's profile is talking about selling their body, they're kicked off immediately. That's not what our site's really about. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> that is... That's the way... That's, like, their legal way of dancing around it. When we asked Gwen what it's she like meant you. by sugar daddy, she said it's a way for people to help cultivate these girls become more successful later in life. You have these southern gentlemen helping sugar babies find their way in life. Yeah, I'm pretty sure school is what helps forward your life. <laughs> oh my god, that is so messed up. Oh, look at this guy, the perpetual party. Yeah. Age 58. <laughs> Boca Raton, I bet his Florida. wife loves the fact that he's doing this. Oh wait, she doesn't know. That's right. His profile picture is him in the middle of, like, two women that are kissing him on the cheek, and he's just like, look at that picture. <laughs> That's it. This, this, is, this is the image we're using for today's podcast. <laughs> we're putting this dude on blast. That's the funniest. <laughs> so he looks like a keyboard elf. <laughs> My millions of dollars from the cookie factory have gotten me this. Oh my god. You know what? I almost fear posting this because I feel like this guy would be like in a cartel or something. Because he looks like that guy. They call him, they call him Smiles. <laughs> they call him me Smiles Elf. He's the in third. the Elf cartel. So do you bring the cookies ashore, Smiles? Cookie. Yeah, boss, I got the cookies. That is how the elves talk, apparently. They just catch some guy. They're like, I heard you were taking our cookies. <laughs> We don't want you making the chocolate-filled ones. Anymore. How about we fill you with chocolate? No, boss! No! Oh, I, I promise I won't do it! <laughs> That's Mickey. Apparently they're murdering Mickey. <laughs> disgusting. All of it's disgusting. 
<laughs> All right, you know what? We need to move on for that. We have wasted almost our entire Monday podcast with with Florida. <laughs> I, I we started with the specific purpose of not going back to Florida, and Florida it was like, no, no, we are not done with you. I have I no words. Know. Look, I'm sorry if you if if you're going on one of those sites like I'm looking for a sugar daddy, and you're like, but I'm not a whore, sweetheart. You are, you are. There's the tombstone quote. <laughs> wow. Okay. This, this, we gotta move on. The tombstone guy puts this one up. He's like, he knows yeah. it. He knows it. What? Also, <laughs> yeah. also, while I'm scolding those young girls for being just painfully stupid, I would also like to scold the old men for abusing those young girls because that's what that is. That's they're not just using them; they're abusing them, and that's messed up too. Like, don't do that. There's a fine. Like, if you're an adult man, act like it, you douchebag. Go home, be miserable with your wife like every other married person. Just because you have money, don't ruin it for everyone else. What an asshole. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Woo. Oh, yeah. I'm proud to be an American. Well, at least I know I'm free. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay, now let's move on to the actual legit part of this show, if there is one. Yeah. <laughs> because we're going to uh, jump no, the cup seven to the sky with Crendor, Crendor. How's that traffic? The traffic's crazy today. Everybody's driving their cars. I think everybody's going to see Han Solo and Gretel in the theaters. First off, saw that last week. Maybe one of the best worst movies I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Wait, what's it, it about is, again? Is it Hansel and Gretel like the kids get well, eaten? It, all right. No, at the end of Hansel and Gretel, they uh, Hansel gets fattened up, and then uh, they end up pushing the witch into the fire, right? Or mm. into the oven and killing her. Um, yeah. In this tale, it starts the exact same way, but then afterwards they, beco- they become like witch hunters, and they go around. First off, this movie's rated R. There's infinite amounts of like swearing and violence. And nudity, and I was not prepared for that. I was like, "Whoa, okay, I'm on board." <laughs> and, and it's really kind of entertaining. Like in that, it's bad entertainment. You know how bad it is when they didn't let the critics screen it, so they just released the movie and didn't let any critics go watch it, which shows you how bad it is. But sitting there, I was like, "You know what? I'm really feeling this movie. It, it was very entertaining." And a, you know. Don't expect me to be like, it's entertaining and like, oh, wow, it's like Lord of the Rings. It's it's entertaining in that it's nonsense, silly. Wait, it's called it's called Hansel and Gretel Witch yes. Hunters? Like, are Hansel and Gretel, like, hunting the witch down? They're hunting many witches. Like, after they kill the one witch, they go around killing other witches. It's uh, Hawkeye, the guy who plays Hawkeye in Avengers, and then the girl who plays oh. Io in Wrath of the Titans or Clash of the Titans or whatever one that was. So it's these, these, these two actors who are, like, almost A status but not really, and they just go around killing people. And then uh, the bad guy is um, Femke Jensen. I don't That's not her name. It's very close, though. It's close enough. It's the girl who played um, Jean Grey in the X-Men. It also features the guy who is in every movie as the Russian. Trust me, you'll know him the minute you see him. He's always that guy who plays the Russian guy <laughs> in anything. And whenever they're like, we need a, we need a drunk-looking Russian, they hire this guy every time. <laughs> That's all I need to say. You, when you see him, you'll know. But anyway, the, mu- the movie's just stupid fun. But the part that took it over the top that I immediately was like, I now love this movie. A- about halfway through, the... Guy, Hansel, the entire movie is injecting himself with something. You don't know, like, is he poisoned? Was he cursed by the witch? What happened to him? And he keeps doing it to, like, a timer. Mm -hmm. Later on, it's finally revealed, because he ate so much candy because the witch fed him, he has diabetes. (laughs) (laughs) Like, like medieval diabetes. It's amazing. And, of course, at the end, they they end up back at the house that it all began at. And this kid that's with him is like, like, oh, my God. Hansel turns and goes, don't eat the effing candy. It's an amazing line. <laughs> I was like, well, this is the best movie ever now. If you like no. bad movies like I do, this is one of the best. What if it was Hansel and Gretel ghost then hunters? Then it would make no sense at all. Just be like, we're going to search for the witch that has been feeding the kids the candy. Oh, man. She's a ghost. Dude, I saw her the other day, man. She bought all the candy. <laughs> just, it just hit me what you were talking about. <laughs> Gretel's like the douchiest, just like, like, hey, ghost. <laughs> Come out and fight me! I was like, oh man! Don't do it, Gretel! Dude, she's gonna give me the candy! How did we get here from traffic? <laughs>
<laughs> I don't know. Oh, my God. All right. <laughs> well, I figure now we should go over to the weather desk. Crendor, how's that weather? Today, we're going to go to Sweden. Stockholm, Sweden. Ooh, we have a lot of Swedish fans. We do. And uh, it's 34 degrees Fahrenheit in Sweden. I'm not going to use your crazy Celsius language. Uh, <laughs> if, and... oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> if you'd like to teach us about it, and you're a young lady who is looking for a sugar daddy... I will, I will pay, pay you five dollars a month. <laughs> American though, that's got to be worth something, right? That's worth like yeah. three dollars in sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and nine mile per hour winds from the south, and uh, six only six point two miles of visibility. Oh, nice, so nice. it's going to be snowing apparently as well. And the pressure is twenty nine point three eight. It's below thirty. And whenever that happens, you got to watch out. No, but actually, I think that's good. Your body is going to be. Crushed. Unless, unless it's like Your body isn't crushed. I don't think so. I think it's the opposite. If the pressure's high, you'll be crushed. If the pressure's oh. low, you'll like expand and then you'll rip apart. That's how I figure it works, right? I thought it was the opposite because then Swedish people are always skinny because the pressure. No, no. The Swedish people are skinny because they have to take skis uphill to get everywhere, and skiing oh, uphill that's very nice. difficult. <laughs> And uh, there's no trending tweets, but I can make them up. They would be like, at Ringden Dragon. Oh, in the Ringden Dragon. Bjergen, Bjergen, Bjergen. That's also possibly Bjergen Norway, Bjergen. but whatever. Same, same damn thing. And now the emails. That's, <laughs> <laughs> That's the weather. All right. What's going on in sports, buddy? The, the Major League Baseball has changed Uh-oh, a rule. So you can no longer... Fake a pickoff to third and then throw to first. It is now officially a balk. What? But why would they change that rule? That is a stupid rule. That doesn't make any sense. Well, they made it. So you can't do yeah, that but anymore. Why? That's part of the game. It's strategy. I don't know. That's because baseball. Seriously, is slow. like in a game where there's already nothing happening anyway. <laughs> yeah. It. You know now they they're like. They need like a shot clock, except call it a pitch clock. And look, you just got to throw. Just throw. Look, you've been staring the guy down at first for the last 25 minutes. Just throw the damn ball. And then there's always the batter who's just like, hold on, I gotta, like, adjust my gloves. It's like, you don't need to. Nothing changed. I like how you say glove when you could have easily just said crotch or, or <laughs> chaw or. Well, they, like, undo their glove, like their batting glove, and then redo it for no gotta reason. It's got to be tight, man. Dude, Dude so, so tight. tight around my fingers. So straight up YOLO swag. And the Super Bowl. Super Bowl's in a week. Oh, uh, yeah, Super Bowl in a week. Go Ravens and Jacoby Jones. It's going to be an interesting game. We'll see what happens. I'm calling three touchdowns for I'm Jacoby. I'm calling three touchdowns for Jacoby's left leg and another three for his right leg. Oh, that's mm-hmm. pretty good. At some point, I his think. legs will just rip apart <laughs> and both simultaneously <laughs> score touchdowns. <laughs> One's named Jacoby, the other's yep. named Jones. <laughs> we, this is the game we find out he's just he's just a group of midgets stacked on top of each other with a trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> and they all break apart. <laughs> he's a he's basically Voltron, is what we're saying. He's made up of various animals, various tigers, and then they'll break apart and they'll run into the end zone. That's how he'll score. <laughs> RG four wishes he was like Voltron. <laughs> he is just robot. <laughs> Poor RG4. What if what if you took all the cyborg players in the league and they formed a mega player? Uh-huh. It'd probably just be a really big robotic Greg Jennings. If any, if anything, no, Greg Jennings is Greg Jennings is part of the robot. So it's RG4, Greg Jennings, oh, Jacoby true. Jones. If anything, they formed together to form Ditka. Really? It's a Ditka. And they're linked together by Polish sausage. <laughs> That's how they link together so they don't come undone. And then as it's as he's forming, it's just like sausage. <laughs> he like bursts through the ground. <laughs> Gunch Nitka is raved. <laughs> he fights he fights off Godzilla and other beasts. <laughs> <laughs> Going to the Super Bowl with the Polish sausage on my team. Oh, there's if you search for Ditka on YouTube, there's Mike Ditka sound bites. Everyone should watch those. Yeah. Oh God, he's Ditka. All right, well, that's sports. That's sports. Okay, so I'm. I think we're almost close to being done. 
<laughs> I don't, okay. Should we save our story oh. for tomorrow? Or I, Florida destroyed today's show. You know what? I'm just going to go to Cosmo for a really bad short I like article. how we, we're basically repeating Friday's episode. Basically. <laughs> Florida and Cosmo. Sure, but, all right. That's all the show's going to be. The Florida and Cosmo <laughs> show. <laughs> like the itchy and scratchy show i know you thank you took thank that. you the theme this song yes nice. yes let's see what we got today cosmo makeup men freaking love okay the al natural i like it when a girl doesn't wear any makeup at all i know it sounds cliche but it lets me know that she takes care of her skin and is confident in herself because she doesn't cover her complexion up with foundation or anything like that dawson <laughs> dawson we're we're asking <laughs> the characters from dawson's creek what they feel about makeup <laughs> I wonder what Pacey will say. Dawson. Those are the only two characters I know. I don't know. I think there was Joey. Was Joey a boy or a girl? I don't. I didn't watch Dawson's Creek. I grew up during the Dawson's Creek time, so I know names. I just don't know anything about them. Uh, I know I that. I, you I just heard people talking I know one about of them, them married Tom Cruise, and the other went on to be in some really bad horror movies and then was never heard from again until he was in a <laughs> Kesha video. James Vanderbeek, that's his name. And then I guess I don't know the other people's names. Oh. So that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yep. <laughs> Excellent. Number two is the smoky eye. I love it when my wife wears a smoky eye. It's very sexy and mysterious. It covers up the bruises. <laughs> uh-huh. Number three, light eyes, light lips. When a woman wears light sparkly shadow around her eyes that make them glow and minimal lip what color. The hell? I think that's the perfect I makeup I like it when look. my girl's eyes glow. The more she looks like Satan, the better. That's Brandon. Says Brand- Brandon wants to bang the <laughs> devil. All right, sure. Uh, rocker chic eyes. I'm into either the all natural style or punk rocker eyes. Where's that the is dark the eyeshadow opposite. mascara? Look, I just want you to be natural or cover your face like you're part of Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> one or the other. One or the says, other. No, but he says. Where's the dark eyeshadow and mascara, but not too much. I think it's sexy and rebellious and gives off a F you attitude. Well, F you to that guy. Next. Yeah, F you. Nick. Nick. What? Nick's a uh. dick. <laughs> <laughs> Here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> there it is. My favorite guy. You have more. <laughs> Nick is a Rick dick. Nick is a dick. <laughs> <laughs> that was my absolute favorite part of that entire sound clip. That dude at the end is just like, yeah. I can just picture him too. He's so happy. Like, yeah. <laughs> He's like, man, it was worth the 10 bucks to get into this show. Oh, God. <laughs> Number five is minimal makeup. I don't like when a girl wears a lot of makeup because if she has too much, then it's not really her. A light amount of foundation that matches her skin tone is best. You don't need Mm. to read any more because I want you to go back and read the first five you just did. That is literally the entire gambit of possible makeup choices you could have. And they're like, this is what men really like. Basically anything. Guys don't really notice makeup. Unless you show up one day and your face is covered in it. It, it, we won't notice. And even then, we'll shut our mouths. Because if it's a first date, we are especially trying to get some. It's more just like you'd be like, oh, that looks good, I guess. <laughs> you're not, not going to say anything <laughs> bad. Here's, as a, guy, as a guy, you were programmed not to say a damn thing about their makeup or how women look in general. Just because you don't want to have to deal with that conversation. I feel like women put on makeup more for, like, other women. <sighs> like, to look at, like, compare themselves to I don't to even know. I, I mean... I would say I'm an au natural guy, but at the same time, there's times when when makeup does it for a lady. So I guess what this article is saying is just go with it. Just be yourself, ladies. And if you want to look like Kiss, be like Kiss. I think the moral of the story is that she'd like you for your personality. Right? If you have to cover up your personality with makeup, then you're nothing more than a kabuki performer. And if I wanted a kabuki performer, I'd go to Japan. That makes the most sense I've ever heard. My life. You're welcome. I'm glad someone understood it. it all, all, all people who got me were you and that guy in the background. Like, yeah, he felt me too. Uh, I'm just gonna skim through these. A bit of blush, bold lip color, subtle glow, colored eye shadow, and a sexy cat yeah, eye. So basically everything that is possible. Yeah. Just 
Uh, the only thing missing is clown makeup. That would have been amazing if that was the... And clown makeup. Men love it. It's going to be that one guy that's just like, did you wear the clown makeup? <laughs> I want you to dress up like a clown for me. <laughs> you, where's the red Pump nose? The horn. It's not Pump complete. The horn. <laughs> now we've offended someone. Someone out there is going to send us a message like, clown fetish is a real thing. Don't offend people. <laughs> Oh, I know it is, which is why it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> what is it's funny? funny. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that guy's the end. Yes. Oh, speaking <laughs> of the end, this is it. This is the end for us. We will see you guys tomorrow. And, uh, as always... <laughs> what did you do? You broke your bell. I'm holding it down. No, I was holding it down. Watch. Oh, wait. Yeah, you broke your bell. You I didn't break it. And as always, to be continued. <laughs>